You know, nothing says all American cooking like good old fried chicken, but we all know that it's probably not the healthiest meal out there. Well, today I have a finger licking good recipe, oven fried chicken with roasted potato wedges that not only tastes as good as the original, but it's heart healthy too. This is going to quickly become one of your family's favorites. To start, I've preheated my oven to 425 degrees, and now we are going to get to work because I'm going to show you how to cut apart and skin a whole chicken. If you buy the whole chicken, you can definitely save some extra dollars for just a little bit more work. You may be intimidated by the idea of cutting apart a chicken, but with some practice, you'll become a pro. I'm going to show you how. So, we are going to cut this chicken into eight parts. Two wings, which are here, two drumsticks, and thighs here and here and here is where the breast meat is which we will cut in half to make two breasts. I've already rinsed this chicken with water and have patted it dry with a paper towel so I can get a good grip on the bird. First make sure you remove the giblets in the neck from inside the cavity. So I'm just using a regular chef's knife. If you have a boning knife that's great too. Just make sure your knife is sharp. Okay I like to start with the wings. So I'm just going to hold the chicken up by the wing and let gravity help out. You can see where the wing connects to the breast and I'm just going to do a gentle cut here until I can see the end bone of the wing. Now I'm going to cut under the end of the exposed bone just like that. There's one wing and I'll do the same thing to the other side. Now I also like to cut off the wing tips and discard them like so because there's really not a lot of meat there, so you don't need to worry about it. Okay, so onto the thighs and the drumsticks. Again, I'm going to hold the chicken by the leg and cut gently along the skin until I see where the thigh bone connects to the backbone. And now I'm just going to pop out the thigh bone out of the joint like this. Now I can cut along the back here and remove the thigh. Now I'll do the same thing to the other side. Hold the leg, gently cut until the bone is exposed, snap out the thigh bone and pull and cut until the thigh is separated. Now to separate the thigh from the drumstick, I'm just going to cut along this fat line here. Okay, so now I have six pieces, two wings, two thighs, and two drumsticks. So now it's time to cut the breast. Here is where the backbone is, and I'm just going to cut down both sides of the backbone and remove that. So now I'm going to put the breast with the breastbone down on the cutting board and I'm just going to split that with my knife down the center. You'll hear a crunch. <laughs> and now we have two breast pieces. Now it's time to remove the skin as most of the fat is in the skin and we don't need those extra calories. So this is basically the same method for all the pieces of chicken. Here I have a breast piece. I'm just going to grasp the skin and pull back. Sometimes a little slip of the knife between the skin and the meat will help get it going. And there you go, skin gone. And I'll do that to the remaining pieces and then I'll give my hands a wash when I'm done before we move on with the rest of the recipe. So here all my chicken pieces have been skinned and we are ready to start cooking. So I'm going to start an assembly line here to coat our chicken. In this first shallow bowl here, I'm going to combine one cup of fat-free buttermilk. And one egg that I've already lightly beaten. And now I'll just give that a good mix with my whisk. 
Now in the second dish, I'm adding half cup of whole wheat flour, one teaspoon paprika, and half teaspoon black pepper. And I'll just give that a good mix. And now we are ready to coat our chicken. I'm just going to take one piece at a time and first dip into the buttermilk mix. And then the flour spice mix. And I'm going to place each piece on this wire rack that's sitting on a baking sheet. And I've coated that rack with cooking spray so the chicken doesn't stick while baking. Okay? So I'll do this with the rest of my chicken pieces. Now all my pieces are coated, so I'm going to give them a quick coat of cooking spray to help them crisp a bit. I'll give my hands a quick wash and then I'll put that in the oven. So I'll let that bake for 30 minutes and then I'll turn each piece and let bake for another 20 minutes or until the center reaches a safe temperature of 165 degrees for several pieces, including the breast, as that's the largest piece of chicken. If you like your chicken extra crispy, you can turn on the broiler for the last two minutes of cooking, but be sure to keep an eye on them because they can go from extra crispy to burnt in a matter of seconds. So, while my chicken is baking, I'm going to get our potatoes ready. Here I have a baking sheet coated with cooking spray for my potatoes. I have two large Yukon gold potatoes cut into one fourth inch wedges. Now I've kept the skins on my potatoes because I love how they get crispy in the oven, plus you are getting some more fiber in the skin, but you can peel them if you prefer. Now I'll just spread them out on the sheet so none of them overlap. And now I'm going to mix up an herb mixture for the coating. In this small bowl, I'll add half teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon black pepper, and half teaspoon dried parsley. Now a quick stir with my spoon. And now I'll just sprinkle this mix over the potatoes. Now, these need to cook at 425 degrees, just like my chicken, and they'll be done in about 30 minutes. So after the chicken has been cooking for 20 minutes is when I'll slip these into the oven so everything will be ready at the same time. I'll flip the potatoes about halfway through baking to make sure none of them are sticking. When you can easily pierce them with a fork is when you know they are done. So here's our delicious meal of oven fried chicken with roasted potato wedges. I hope today's video inspired you to cut up a whole chicken yourself. You can do it. Just think. Your reward will be this heart healthy mouth watering dinner. Bye for now.